Hi again. So we are going to expand upon uh, our original um, idea of uh, exiling and um, processing cards. So um, instead of using the ingesters, which aren't super strong usually, um, we're going to be using uh, some cards that exile permanents so that we can ingest them later. So. Um, yeah, we have some ingesters here, and then we have the uh, the exiling cards up here. But um, so we're we're gonna be brewing using these kind of ideas. Um, another thing we were looking at um, in the last video was um, synergy with enchantments. So we had some enchantments in here. Um, naturally, you have suspension field, stasis snare, all these different enchantments that are gonna exile. So we are thinking, oh, maybe. Maybe there's stuff that works with enchantments. Um, so I am going to look for things that work for enchantments and uh, add those to the list. So I'm going to go to the card search again. I am going to do find search. I'm going to well, I'll look for text does contain, um, let's see. So maybe for each enchantment, each enchantment or something like that. I think there is one card. Yeah, so Helm of the Gods is decent. Um, we might go that route, see how many enchantments we have at the end of it. But again, this is going to be like the enchantment kind of based section. Um, let's see, enchantment, each enchantment, whatever, whatever an enchantment. Enchantment. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put counter on him. I don't see, I don't think this is that good. So we'll leave him out. Blight caster, whenever you cast an enchantment spell. Yeah, this from Origin is good. Um, give something minus two, minus two. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a little slow, but you never know. Might be good. Uh, Blood Cursed Knight. And that guy's pretty good. It's very good, actually. So we're kind of going to shoot for. Um, well, it might be Abzan now. Let's see. We got Black White. Blue might be out, actually, because we've got these two, which are Abzan, um, and then that allows us to get uh, the Herald of the Pantheon, which might be good. And I don't want to make this full enchantments because um, it's already a deck. We already got this one, um, Sigil of the Empty Throne. It's not great. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be casting enough enchantments for that to actually do anything. So um, I like the ones that are like based around like one enchantment. Um, White caster might probably be pushing it too. Let's also look for things that return enchantments to their to our hand because we can kind of take advantage of that. Um, because we can process the card and then um, return it back, so we could use like this, exile their guy, process him, and then return the enchantment back and use it again. So that's pretty cool. Um, maybe like returning a permanent or something might work. Turn a permanent. Um, that might not come up with it. Um, permanent. Non, non land. 
Yes. Let's see. It's probably stuff that like returns it to your hand when it enters the battlefield. On my hand. Permanent. It's like this one. We got Ancestral Statue. It's a bad card though. Um, Clever Impersonator is interesting. You can copy your... Huh, I wonder how that works with... Blightcaster. Or a Blight Herder. You cast it. Well, that doesn't work then. Let's see. Target an online permanent. Mm. Ooh, Displacement Wave might be cool. Um, if we can ingest, or if we can process all the cards. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess we could make a control shell. Let's write down control here. Paste it there. So maybe with this we, you know, exile stuff and then return it all back to our hands once we, uh, once you process all those cards, kind of cool. I don't know how it would work, but we'll see. Um, let's see here. I'd love something that would like sacrifice permanence. Hmm. Something like this would be cool. But, like, cheaper, maybe? Permanent. Just on his hand. Um, so maybe... Okay, there might be something that returns... Permanent. You control. Hmm. Invasive species, that's M15. Hmm. Well, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think we can return them back to your hand. Um, that's unfortunate. That'd be really cool. Okay, so that's probably out, but Displacement Wave might actually be good enough to build around that, I don't know. Um, because we're going to be processing things, we're going to be playing these, getting rid of their guys, processing them, and then Displacement Wave. I think it's a little complicated, it's a little too complicated because if you have one piece but not the other piece, it might not be very good. So. Let's uh let's build our own enchantments some more here. Um let's look for just anything with enchantment in it. Okay. There's Oromancer, brings back an enchantment. I don't think we're going to have enchantments die too often, so... Yeah, probably not very good. Graveyard to your hand, enchantment card, again, probably not that good. Shifting loyalties, kind of funny, but I don't know. Huh. Nah, I don't think it's gonna be good. Starfield of Nyx. Oh man. That would be a fun one, but I don't think we can do anything with it.
again, we're not really gonna have the enchantments die, so. Be a pretty complicated combo. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see here. Got some cool enchantment based cards. We also got blue stuff. Um, we got some stuff based on exiling. Hmm. Well, it's just a question of what colors we want to play, I guess. What's our threats? What are our big threats? Anafenza is a pretty good one. Um, I like playing Anafenza, Hyksis, um, Blood Cursed Knight, Wasteland Strangler. Those are all really good cards. Um, maybe even Herald of the Pantheon. It seems pretty good, at, like a pretty good deck. I mean, playing a playing one of these for one, that's pretty awesome. Playing this for two, also pretty awesome. Harold. Hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, let's narrow it down then. Let's narrow it down to Abzan. Let's make the Abzan version of this. Oh, let's first save it. Save, and then we'll make the Abzan version. And how of the gods might be good. We'll, we'll uh, see if there's anything else that's going to make enchantments good. Abzan. Alright, let's see. So we're going to delete all the blue and then red stuff. Not going to use that. I can use that. Blue and red, blue and red, blue and red. Don't want that. Come on. Don't want this. Don't want that. Blue. Red. Blue. Okay. So that's what, the, what we're left with. Looks like a pretty good deck. I like it. Um, oh, get rid of that too. I like Helm of the Gods a lot. I feel like it could be very good. Um, we should look for other enchantment type cards too. I don't really want to look for all enchantments, but maybe... Well, we can look for only Abzan enchantments. Maybe that'll be fine. We'll just look through and see if we can find anything that's uh, interesting. are going to be black. Green. White. Or colorless. And no other. Okay. So any enchantments? I don't think there's going to be any colorless ones. I don't remember any. Actually, there's one, but... Okay, let's see here. Enchantments, whatever. Let's see, when it enters the battlefield, put a counter on everything. Whatever non-token creature you control dies, get 1-1 one, one spirit. Huh. Um... Let's see, think about it. We have... Not too many creatures. Um... It's only going to be non-tokens. Might be okay, but probably not. Mm, I don't know. Let's let's try it. Put in the creature-based version. Creature-based. There we go. Okay. Alright, so there's lots of auras and stuff, but we probably don't need them. 
unless they're really good. Soul formation. Does that do anything? I don't think it does. We have a lot of uh, stuff that it won't really do anything with. Um, let's see, Brave the Sands, that's kind of cool. Ooh, Citadel Siege is awesome. That card's good. I like that card. We're going to put it in here. Because it's good as a removal type spell and as a, uh, as a win condition too. If you have one creature out, it's just going to get big. Um, no, I don't like auras that much. Crippling Blight's more of an aggro card. Deadly Wondering... Could be okay, but... Nah, it's alright. Demonic Pact. Ah, oh, man, if you could return stuff, this would be the perfect deck for this. I don't know if there's any way to return it though. Besides the uh, displacement wave. Uh, that'd be a fun one, but I don't think we can play it. Elemental Bond. How much stuff do we have? Three power. This guy, this guy, this guy, that guy, that guy's a three. This guy's a two. Well, might not be bad. Only thing is, we're not gonna have like a huge amount of creatures, but it's not bad. Put in the creature base section. <clears> okay. <throat> From beyond. Okay, so this makes tokens every turn. As you can go get a an Eldrazi. Um No. No, that's right. I'm trying to think of what I'm looking for in an enchantment, but I guess we won't know until we see it. Playing lifelink enchantment. Hmm. Uh, is an enchantment kind of is an enchantment creature? It makes it kind of interesting, especially with the Helm of the Gods. Seems okay. Master of the Unseen. No, we're not making any flip cards. Myth realized. Hmm, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you get a counter on it, and then you can make it into a creature. Um, I like it with Helm of the Gods. Seems pretty cool. Um, it's possible. It's possible, that's good. Pacifism is probably also pretty good. Palace Siege. I mean, we already got so much removal. 
That's why pacifism just doesn't do anything. Um, any of the retreats? Get tokens, stuff that. Uh, don't think, well, no, I don't think that's but well, four toughness, four or greater, let's see, how much do we have that's four or greater, we have one, two, three, if we have a lot of those, but probably not, fifteen, let's use a snare, Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, okay. Well, I think we have a good enough base. Um, maybe we can find something else that would work with these things. But for right now, it looks pretty good. I mean, we have some pretty big, big things to deal with. We got this guy, this guy. This guy. Um, we got the Blood Cursed Knight, which is really strong. Citadel Siege is very strong. It's gonna make everything like huge. Elemental Bond might be okay. Uh, so I guess uh, I'm gonna leave it there, and then uh, next time I'm going to cut down on the cards and uh, make it into an actual deck. So I hope you join me later. Thanks.